Okay, um, I just want to ask you, do you have a serious boyfriend? Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? We, we had in the town. See what it's about. Hello, this is Maggie with PinaiWise.com and today we're here in Nanda Consolation again. Talking with me here is Jen. We will talk about her thoughts, feelings, hopes, and dreams. So keep watching. This will be very interesting. Okay. Um, now, Jen, um, let's talk about your quick bio. Can you tell us about yourself? Okay, so I am Jen. 28 years of age, then I consider myself as an hardworking, and then I'm easy to go along with other people. Uh, okay. Yes. Where do you live, Jen? I'm from Talisay City, Cebu. Oh, you're from Talisay yes. also? Specifically in Bulacao. Oh, in Bulacao. Yes. Okay. Uh, Jen, do you have a big family? Yes, I consider it a big family because I have four, uh, four brothers and two sisters. Then I am the youngest. Ah, yes. I see. Okay. Are you in a university now or you're graduate already? Uh, I already graduated. Ah, okay. Yes. Um, what did you study? Um, I taking up the office information system. Mm -hmm. Two years course. Ah, yes. Okay. Um, do you have a job now? Yes, I'm a real estate agent and then I I'm also do a uh, assurance from different events mm -hmm. and then I'm also a freelance ambassador and models. Oh yes. wow. Okay, if so, do you like what are you doing right now? Yes, I I really, really do like because through my job it can really help my daily needs. Mm -hmm. I can buy what I want in life mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, what are your favorite things to do? Uh, my f uh, favorite things to, to do is I like to travel and then try try different foods and then I like to I like hiking, going to the beach, like that trekking, going to camping. Sometimes when I have more time, I, I really like to travel. Oh, yes. I see. Okay, um, do you have many close friends? Mm, actually, I, I only have two close friends. Ah. Yes, because I like small Small, small group, yes. as long as they're true. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, are, do you consider yourself as a breadwinner? Uh, no, because... Uh, both of my parents is already deceased, so my in my income is only for myself. Ah. But I do give for my sister, my nieces, and my nephews if they have uh, if if they ask some money for me, mm. spe uh, specifically during birthdays, like that. Oh yeah, especially in real estate. If you sold a unit, it's yeah. a big time already. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, um, I just want to ask you: Do you have a serious boyfriend? But before you answer that, you answer that at the end of this video. Now, let's... Okay. okay, good. Is it okay if I ask you some personal questions at the end of this video also? Yes. Okay, now let's start talking about your hardships. Okay. Um, do you grow up in a city or in a province? Uh, I grew up in the province of Danao. Ah, Danao. Yes. Here? Yes. North. Mm -hmm. yes. North side. Yes. Yeah. Um, what do you think are the difference of um girl growing up in a province and girl growing up in a city mm, since the, you yes. experience both uh girl growing up in the city is they are more they are more wise enough when it comes to opportunities mm -hmm. and then many jobs to look a silly mm -hmm. through internet mm -hmm. and then going uh, growing up in the province like they have fewer only opportunities and then they are also shy type mm, mm, yes, yes yes okay has your life been good so far mm, i can say that i have a good life now oh yeah yes. because you can do whatever yeah. you want okay are you happy where you live now yes i'm at peace and i'm in a good <laughs> environment yes. okay do you have do you make enough money to have a good life now mm. in my in my job right now well, I'll, i can say that I can have enough money. <laughs> yes, yes, I I know, especially if you sell a unit in a real yes. estate, it's really big money. 
Okay, what is the hardest thing about your life? Mm, the hardest thing about my life is when my when both of my parents are passed yes. away. Oh, yeah, it's really hard, yeah. actually. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Okay, okay, what hardships have you and your family experienced? Mm, uh, sometimes when uh, before, I don't have job, and then my family also suffered like, like his husband left also, and then... Uh, she has many she has many responsibilities including me so mm -hmm. that's the hardest, <laughs> hardest time, time yes okay now let's talk about your goals in life who has been the most influential person in your life um, my family because they always they always support my careers and then whatever i with whatever i do in life they always motivate me oh yes yeah that's nice okay what insecurity insecurities if any are you willing to share with us uh actually i don't have insecurities in life because i never compare my life to anyone, anyone. yes so you're content yes yes i'm contented of so. what i have my body yeah. i don't care <laughs> i don't care what other people say about me oh my life my rules wow <laughs> that's right that's good <laughs> okay how do you define success in life uh, i can define success in life if if i have a complete a complete family then finance financially secured and then true happiness mm -hmm. yes yes everyone needs happiness yes. <laughs> okay what does happiness means to you and how do you pursue it mm, ha happiness means to me if if you like if you are very financially secured you have to share your blessings to others mm -hmm. yeah yes. that's right so because i i believe god um bless you so that you can bless others yes right <laughs> Okay, how do you feel about adventures or trying new things? Mm, I, I really like to go adventures and then meet different people, then try some cultures and traditions. Mm. Like that. <laughs> I really like to learn new things. Oh, yeah, yes. that's nice. Okay, now let's talk about atti your attitudes towards dating and marriage. In dating, what qualities are you looking for in a partner? Uh, I'm looking for an understanding man and then has a positive thought and then kind a uh, kind man and then responsible that's the important mm, yeah the responsible yes. one yeah okay how important are these qualities to you mm, that's important when it comes to especially yeah mm -hmm. especially when you are in a relationship a relationship with a guy so mm -hmm. very important to have understanding because if you are in a boy, then we don't. You don't understand each other. It's yes, yes. Yes, yes. that's correct. Yes. Actually, number one important relation is trust. Yes. Right. Second is being responsible, and yeah. third is you understand each other. It's, yes. You know, if you don't understand each other, I think that relationship will end as yes. soon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you want someone who takes care of you, or do you want to be independent? Uh, sometimes it's hard to be independent. So if if given a chance, then I <laughs> I would like to I would like someone to take care of me. Oh yes. yes. Okay. Do you want to have a home and children, or is your career more important? Uh, in my in my life right now, my my most important is career. Career. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if succeed soon, so. That's the time. That's the you time know, to you create your own children, children yes. and family. Okay, how do you view the role of a husband and a wife in a marriage? Mm, I think uh, understanding for mm -hmm. uh, understanding trust each other and never lie or cheat. <laughs> or cheat. Yes. yes. That's most important. Yes. Okay, do you consider yourself as a feminine? Yes, because I like I like to wear sexy clothes. I like to wear <laughs> heels, and then I'm into makeup. Oh, yeah, yeah you're really a feminine. Yes. <laughs> okay. What are your long-term goals for a relationship? My long thing, uh, long-term goal for a relationship is to have a healthy relationship with my mm -hmm. future husband, and then have a complete family. Yes. yes. 
and happy family, yes. right? <laughs> what do you hope to achieve in a marriage? Mm, I hope to achieve in a marriage in a marriage like yeah, I don't want I want I don't like my children soon to have a broken family like mm. what I experience right now. So I want a happy family and then like like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um what do you hope uh what would you be willing to sacrifice for the per uh, for the perfect marriage? Uh I'm willing to sacrifice everything as long as I am sure with a with a boy that I am in yeah. the marriage. Oh yes. yes. Okay, what makes a Filipina special in a relationship mm. versus other nationalities? What uh, do you think? Filipina is special versus other relationship because we are we are a warmth and then kind hearted and then we are hospitality. Mm, yeah, yes. we are we are hospitable in yes. terms of our relationship, yes. right? Or okay. Now let's talk about the attitudes toward dating a foreigner. Mm -mm. Have you ever dated anyone online? No. No, you haven't okay. tried yes. it. <laughs> okay, if you dated someone on online, how long would you want to get to know them before meeting them in person? I think one year. No, oh, one yes. year also. Oh, okay. So re you really want to know that guy yes, as before. deeper as you want yes. before you meet before, each other. Yeah. yeah, of course, to be safe also. Yes. Okay, what is your thought about long distance relationship or LDR? Uh LDR for me is fine as long as you understand each other and then mm -hmm. communication is always the key for mm -hmm. LDR relationship. Yes, yes. that's uh, actually true. Would you consider dating someone older than you? Mm, it's okay as long as we understand each other and then she is responsible enough to <laughs> to, to, your relationship. to take care of me and oh, yeah. The children soon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, how much does age matter to you? Uh, age doesn't matter for me as long as she is responsible enough for to take care of her children and me, and then she is under. Ah, uh, he is understanding and ah uh, kind. She he also ah uh, kind. Mm, or, kind man. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you consider dating someone? Who had been married before or had kids? Uh, no. no. No, you don't like. So I if ever know. you'll be having an you're into a relationship, you want a single. Yes. Oh, okay. I don't like complicated. <laughs> yes. yes, you're correct. Mm. Okay. Have you ever dated a foreigner? Have you tried? Mm. No. No, haven't yes. tried. Why don't you try um, online dating um, app? No, you I don't never like, tried. Yeah. You're scared yeah. doing that. Oh, I see. Okay. Would you want the foreigner to move to the Philippines or do you want to move to his country if ever you marry a foreigner? Mm, I want the foreigner move to Philippines. Mm, yes. And stay here. Yes. And then you visit only in their country. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, what are your thoughts on dating a foreigner compared to a local Filipino man? My thoughts on, the, on dating a foreigner, I think financially secure, then you are secured already also. Yes, you're yes. correct. And then they are much responsible when it comes uh, uh, compared to local men. Yes, yes. of course. Yeah. What are your, the advantages of dating foreigner versus a Filipino man? Mm, the advantages of dating a foreigner, maybe they are already a financial, a financially secured and then they are also responsible. But I cannot say that they are all, they are, they are all a good man. Oh yes, yes, yes. you're correct. <laughs> oh, not all actually, because some is womanizer, yeah, yeah, pretending, pretending yes. something like that. Okay, now let's talk about dating obstacles. How strict is your family about dating? Ah, uh, before when I was in college, they are they are very strict about mm -hmm. that, and then now. They, they don't, don't care, care since of course yes. you graduated you earn on by yourself yes. they don't care anymore <laughs> so you they just okay date whatever you want yes <laughs> okay would you be embarrassed about being seen with a foreigner mm, since i don't have any experience yet i think no as long as i love and you're happy yes i love the people okay would you embarrass about dating or marrying a foreigner no no yes <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, sometimes there is a lot of gossip or accusations from friends and neighbors about dating a foreigner. Mm -hmm. Would this bother you? No, I don't care what other people say about me as long as I love the person. Oh, uh, yes. yeah. I like I like <laughs> your attitude. Yeah, you, you, and I'm going to call it in Frozen and nobody bothered me anyway. So something like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. How important is family approval when it comes to choosing a partner? Uh, it's important because family knows everything. So it's really needed. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, actually. How do you think your family and friends would react to you dating and potentially marrying a foreigner? Mm, I think they are happy about me. Oh, yeah. yes. Especially if the foreigner is really handsome. Yes. Or they will get jealous, uh, actually. Yes. <laughs> then they will ask, where did you find that guy? <laughs> Maybe you, they have uh, siblings yeah. or friends. <laughs> they so, might ask a referral. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What role does your family play in your decision-making process about relationships and marriage? Mm, actually, they don't have a. Uh, they don't decide. Let uh, they, they let they let me first decide, and then they just go with the flow. What I what, what I they, have. Oh, yeah. Okay. How do you think marrying a foreigner would affect your relation with your family? Mm, I think it's not a problem for me. Yeah, yeah. I, I think so also. Because you're in the right age yes. and they know that you, you can handle. Yes. <laughs> okay, what are the expect expectations of your family regarding your partner and your future marriage? Mm, they expect me that they, the boy treat me better and then they provide me a good life. life. And then they provide me a good future and my children. Mm, yes. yes. I think every family yes. will think of, uh, think of that. Yes. <laughs> Would your family expect support from your husband? Uh, no, because my family, they they already happy if the, uh, if the man is uh, good to me. And then they are responsible for what they are. He is entering mm -hmm. about marriage life. Mm -hmm. They don't think about support. Uh, okay. Yes. Now let's talk about travel. Do you like travel? Yes, I like it very much. <laughs> you like it really? Yes. Have you ever left the Philippines? Mm, local only, but I wish to travel international soon. Oh, yes. which country would you like to visit? Switzerland. Be? Ah, you like Switzerland. Yes. You Why? Why Switzerland? I like the people in Switzerland and then their culture and tradition. Ah, then okay. I like also to try their different foods like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Okay. And also the weather there is yeah. really good. <laughs> yes. And the uh, Aurora de Bors, what they call yeah. this, uh -oh. the green sky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you like learning about different cultures? Yes, I really like also. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you adapt well to new surroundings and cultures? Yes, I can adapt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about your wishes. If you could find the man of your dreams, who would he be? Mm, I want. Ah, uh, he is a good man. Then responsible enough and then understanding and can handle and i don't like immature man mm -hmm. like yeah matured enough for your yes. relationship yes describe your life together if you found the mm -hmm. man of your dream strong and healthy relationship and then financially secured mm -hmm. okay if you had three wishes how would you make your life better mm, i want Financial, uh, financially secured and then healthy life and then healthy and strong relationship with my family. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. What would make your life better? Mm. Uh, what would me? Uh, what would make my life better if, I, if I found a good man and then settle down soon and then, then that's it. Financially secured and then. I like uh, my my very first priority is I want to be healthy with my kids and my and my future husband. Mm, yes. yes. <laughs> if some wonderful man was interested in you, would you be open to that? Ah uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. What would you like the viewers to know about the Philippines? Uh, Philippines is a very good country. There are a lot of places to travel and then the 
people there is very friendly and and hospitable and then uh there are a lot of beaches in the philippines and then they can visit right? yeah they can visit and then the uh the people there is very easy to go with mm -hmm. yeah. yes you're correct anything you would you would like to say to all the viewers of all over the world mm, uh philippines is very nice and then yeah come and visit just, philippines just uh find me and i will <laughs> something <Yeah>. like that <laughs> okay any advice you can give for those filipina who is looking for a foreign partners and any advice to foreigners who is looking for filipina partners mm, for the filipina who is looking for a foreigner partners uh uh no first the no first the foreigner you are talking mm -hmm. don't trust easily mm -hmm, yeah. yes because we all know people are days Yes, you're right. Mm. How about the foreigners? The foreigners who is also looking for a fil Filipino girlfriend. Yeah, the same. Uh, no, first, the Filipina you are talking because we all know that mm -hmm. the, the only one for their money. Yeah. Yes, actually. That's or something like meet them first before yes. they support each yes. other, right? <laughs> Thank you for all the viewers on Pinay Wise. If you like my video, please like, comment, and subscribe okay thank you so much jen thank you. it's nice talking to you um i would like to thank jen for taking the time to speak with us today it has been very interesting getting her thoughts and feelings about filipino life culture and dating right yes <laughs> okay thank you jen thank you bye all your stuff away and check out for the day there's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees burns under my feet won't you have a drink with me